Well, there's the headline we've been expecting. Trump's Jerusalem Declaration Sparks Talk of Third Temple. Let's just go to the article here. Let me jump down a little bit. It says, while Muslims jeer Israelis cheer, President Trump's Jerusalem Declaration prompting Jewish religious activists to suggest building the Third Temple is closer to reality than ever before. I'm going to jump down here to the uh, fourth sentence, fifth sentence, yeah, fourth. It says, Freed sees Trump's role similar to one played by Cyrus, the Persian king, who ended the Babylonian exile and helped build the second Jewish temple. Okay, well, just so you know, all that was just said comparing Trump to Cyrus is nothing more than a lie concocted by Jewish leaders in bed with Rome so as to bring about the arrival of Antichrist in the coming days. I challenge all so-called scholars and doctors of divinity to show the people of the world a single prophecy from the Christian Bible that says a third temple is prophesied or even needed this side of the cross of Christ. As we know, you will not find any such scripture any more than you'll be able to find verses backing a seven-year peace treaty, a secret rapture, a thousand years of peace, or even a Sunday Sabbath for that matter, all of which are considered truth in most churches today thanks to the pastors in those churches bowing to both beasts of Revelation. You know, basic reality is Jesus plainly said in John 19.30 that it is finished when all that the temple stood for ended just as prophesied the moment he died for all of us on that cross. But as we know, the Jews deny Jesus as Messiah, and Rome has been caught worshiping Satan more than once. And so talks regarding the need for a third temple are to be expected so as to slander the cross of Christ before all mankind in a way that makes Satan smile horn to horn. But as was also prophesied in Daniel 8.25, the man of sin is going to use peace to destroy many. And so the repetitive claims of peace and safety have not only watered down the faith of billions, but do you recall this article from 2014? I mean, as obedient students of prophecy have been saying for literally years, Rome has been working on getting the Jews in agreement with them for decades. And so talk of a third temple is just part of the Jesuit seven-year peace treaty they are pushing now, as I exposed in my uh, December 9th video. You know, common sense dictates that if they even start to build that temple, which, by the way, they have started to do more than once in the past, the plans to build it alone means they plan to start the sacrifices for sin again. As Bible-understanding Christians, we know Jesus performed that sacrifice for us 2,000 years ago. But as we also know, Satan wants to be worshipped as a god, and most today follow him as we speak. So with that said, do you recall what Jesus said to the non-believing Jews 2,000 years ago? He said, I have come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye shall receive. You know, back when I was a young man, I saw with my own eyes a news report on TV wherein a reporter asked a rabbi on camera how they deal with always being at war. That rabbi said, and I quote from memory, we would follow the Antichrist himself if he would offer us peace. I mean, the fact the Jews bowed to the man of sin in Rome to pass laws making it legal to break the Bible Sabbath back in April of this year shows they have done just as Jesus predicted in John 5.43. And again, all of this is falderall, and so there is no way to say yes or no as to whether or not the Lord is going to allow them to build that temple. I mean, unless it's a thus saith the Lord found in his word, we cannot trust anything mankind says, especially since we know what Isaiah 820 means when he said to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it's because there's no light in them. And so unless that which is preached can be back up with that which was prophesied, we cannot trust it. Still, the basic reality is they are talking about it, and that shows they are setting the stage to make the Vatican political agenda appear prophesied. In any event, whether the temple is allowed to be built or not, Satan will soon stand on earth claiming to be Jesus. And with that said, are you ready? Are you sure? Thank you for watching. God bless.